vlog again yay because i want to be consistent i actually have been called out by a lot of my subscribers recently which is hilarious because i didn't know how many people subscribed to me that i knew personally but they were like hey what happened to your youtube channel you need to step it up and i was like damn <laughs> We don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but what we do is like we invite family and friends over to our house and we eat food. So I made my very famous butter chicken and it was very popular. Everyone really loved it. We ordered Chicken 65, another Indian. So basically we focused on just making Indian dishes. What happened was one of my siblings was really upset. She was like, did you give all of the food away? Like she was so upset because she thought we gave away all the butter chicken and all the chicken 65 because we gave half of it to another family because obviously it's, it's kind of rude to leave them empty handed. Probably the Somali hospitality within us is like, no, you cannot leave without a lot of food in your hand. So we gave them half a tray of chicken 65, half of butter chicken. The secret to the butter chicken is like this paste that I found at Cup Foods the other day. Wednesday night after karate, I went to Cup Foods and literally the whole place was packed. Everyone was surrounding the mashed potato section, the mac and cheese section. Everyone was like looking at the heavy cream like because it was so obvious to me what they were making. Like the ricotta cheese was getting snatch like you can tell like people were trying to be festive and be like <laughs> but you can tell in their eyes they weren't here to play like they want their ingredients and they waited to the last minute I mean I waited to the last minute but it's not like a serious thing like I'm not in charge of anything oh one more thing is I'm not celebrating Black Friday um, because I found out Black Friday is a scam I kind of knew it was a scam because like what they do is they raise the price of the original item like if you bought it and in October the item would have been $20 but what Black Friday does is that they say that, oh, you're getting a deal of $35 and the original price of the item was $55. So they're basically playing with you. Because basically, if you bought the item full price, any time outside of Black Friday, it would have been cheaper than buying it on Black Friday because they just raised the price. So if you're thinking about going and celebrating Black Friday, I mean, I don't think I'm going to edit this video before Black Friday, but I just really hope y'all use your brains and not do it unless it's like a reasonable deal and you know that the original price went down anyways i'm going to put on my headphones and i'm going to organize this section right here <laughs> Don't come for me, but I did not watch the film that this is oh, Kiki's Delivery Service. I never watched the Studio Ghibli film, but this looks so cute. And you know what, Hot Topic, everything's always sold out and I don't have enough money to buy the, like, the proper sweaters. I'm always talking about being broke. Maybe that's the re relatability. I don't want to be relatable if it means I got money, okay? So I would love to not have this issue anymore. But what I do is I buy like the $7 ten dollar products to kind of feel like i'm splurging even though i'm not actually splurging any money but this is really cute i need to go watch it because i do have hbo max i i forgot to delete the subscription when i finished house of the dragon it's looking pretty good I just have to make this place look organized because the problem is when it looks messy, like when a room looks messy, I get stressed out. But at the same time, it is like my natural way of doing things. It's like in my nature to be a messy person, even though I love being clean. So uh, just putting everything back where it belongs. One of the best splurges I've ever done in my life was when I was working, I think a few months after COVID, and I bought this Ikea mirror. Because one thing I love is feeling like I'm in luxury, you know what I mean? So what I did was, during that time where I really wanted to like feel luxurious, feel expensive, I saw this, I think it was like $70, and I thought I, thought I was crazy because I came for something specific, but I ended up buying this. What I really like about this one is that it closes and opens. I think you've seen it a few times before. This mirror needs to be cleaned, of course. But what I love about it is that it looks luxurious, like the way it is. Like it looks so fancy. And then when you're done using it for putting on your makeup, you just close it. I don't really believe in like the spiritual side of this mindset, but I don't like mirrors, open mirrors. 
closet door mirrors open at night because I am blind so <laughs> I have minus five prescription for glasses right so like when I'm sleeping and I wake up in the morning or in the middle of the night if I'm looking into a mirror and I see a black shadow it is me but <laughs> I I get scared like I, it's like almost getting a heart attack so one thing that I can't stand is having a TV in the room a mirror in the room that does not have the option to close so like if I'm sleeping in someone else's room what I do is I turn the mirror over or I put like a cloth over it so I don't have to see it so that was one of the biggest reasons why I bought this I actually saw it at Ikea for even cheaper than when I bought it I think I bought this uh, two years ago if any of y'all are interested anyways. so there's a lot of books where I've either read them or I don't really read them so I just want to take them out Philippa Gregory is one of my favorite authors so I found this book for like 25 cents at the library I'm keeping this one for sure I'm gonna keep How to Win Friends and Influence People. Obviously, I'm gonna keep The 48 Laws of Power. There is this book, The Art of Seduction. I'm personally not a fan of this book because I read it and it was just giving narcissistic to some extent. Like, I know this sounds so weird, but whenever I read this book, or like I tried to, but then I had to put it down because there was something very disturbing about it. It kind of reminded me of like an abusive relationship where like someone is trying to bait you and the hot and cold thing really messed me up. That's when I realized you know I've never been much of a seducer but at this point after reading this book I'm like I don't care about being a seducer I don't care about um, being appealing to the opposite gender in any way if it means I have to be hot and cold and uh, this manipulation I was just like nah this book I finished it on the plane I didn't really have much else to read and what's funny is I don't even know how to say the title Rhapsodic. Kind of like a spicy novel, but it was giving Fifty Shades of Grey. Definitely keeping this book. I feel like this book wasn't really about romance for me. It was more like how to not be a pushover. So the four hour work week, I did not read it. It looks nice, right? Okay, I think that's it for organizing books. My favorite color is actually ocean blue. But ever since I found sage green, something about sage green just looks so perfect. Like it's so aesthetic, you know? Oh, let me show you guys something. So my vision board, everything that I wanted already happened. A dresser, and I ended up getting one. This, this right here. This picture kind of represented UX design. Basically, I wanted to finish the program, and I'm almost done. I wanted a sage green comforter, and I ended up getting it. I think you can see it right here. You see that comforter? That comforter is the one you see right here. This here represented kind of like being comfortable on camera, being more open. I don't know, it's kind of 50-50, but I'll, I'll say I got it. Another thing I wanted was a black belt. I'm on track to having a black belt, so that's really nice, so I don't need to put this. I mean, maybe I can just take this picture and put it into the new vision board. I wanted to have a more aesthetic room. I like the room that I have right now, so I would say, yes, I got it. No, the Chanel Number no. 5 perfume is what I wanted to. Where is it? I ended up getting the Chanel Number no. 5 perfume, so I was really proud of that. What a night, people dancing in slow motion, blurry eyes. But I've had enough, it's time to say goodbye. this the next day uh, the thing is I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because I stayed up watching Kiki's delivery service and that was a really good movie it's giving a very nostalgic very calm vibe this was a very smart decision buying this bow because now I understand who Kiki is and her delivery service and I really like this <laughs> let me expose the forehead again the MAC 170 brush same old same old my sister bought this it's called the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer so this product right here is absolutely amazing so normally I've been using the Estee Lauder and it works okay but it wasn't giving exactly what I wanted so I've been on the hunt for more foundation but you know I'm not going to just throw around $40 right so when I went to Sephora 
I asked for the Dior backstage. What was really disappointing about this one is that it was giving the NARS light reflecting foundation. So if any of you know that one, I didn't like it because it was too dewy. Like I want a little bit of shine but not so much where it looks like I'm oily because I am already naturally, my skin type is oily so I don't want really oily face. Like that's not my personal style and neither of them they're not very great so one of my sisters she was like hey you should try the Milani and guys this is eleven dollars ten ninety nine and I've been using it ever since then the thing is at first I was really upset because who wants to realize that they've been wasting money on very expensive products just to find out that there's an amazing product like this one that works so much better but you know at first I was upset and then I kind of turned it around immediately I was like wait why be upset when now I don't have to spend a lot of money on foundation? Next I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande. I already bought a new one. I'm not going to the new one until I scrape every last crevice of this. So I'm not a waster. Mm -mm. Like there's still decent product in here. True Complexion Contour Palette. Now I use the shade you can see the dent. One, two, I'm gonna take some on my forehead. Um, I'll do this off camera. One second. Make them look a little more natural. The MAC blush that I probably should throw away right now. It has a decent dent in it. Um, I've used it for, I think it's been two years, so I should throw this away. Uh, I will not until I get a new blush. Teddy Bear Too Faced palette. I normally just use the same few shades. I use this one as the base and this one as like the crease so for me makeup isn't very creative most of the time I just use the same few colors every single day uh, sometimes I wish I was more creative but you know there are days where you don't want to spend more than uh, 10 minutes getting your makeup done these are my favorite lashes of all time it's the INV natural lashes I'm using <laughs> look at this Look at this mess. This is the MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut. Look how destroyed it is. The thing is, like, it's not it's not that I'm dirty. Don't don't come for me. It's just it was in my fanny pack. Uh, and it's been in my backpack. And it's been like in any purse. I've always thrown it in, especially on Eid when you need your lips to look nice. Um, I've been like using this. I think I've had it since a year and a half now. Uh, and I still have a long ways to go. I haven't bought other colors because one of my biggest fears is buying a lip liner like this. $18, y'all. And then it just disappears. You it, you drop it somewhere, all it's over. And you spent so much money. And you're just sitting there like, damn, I spent $18 for what? For who? Like, I want red in this and like a more skin color, not this dark. But I've been, this has been rocking with me forever. NYX's Ginger Snap. As you can see, I am going to karate. I'm really excited. Um, karate is one of the only forms of exercise that I do. I do go to the gym, but I don't go often. So one of the only ways I get my cardio and like my one hour of exercise is going to karate. Um, I really like going there and I am right on time. I still have a half hour before classes start. Bye.